Hi everyone, I am Arun Julka. Today in probability, we will discuss probability distribution. In probability distribution, sum of probability of all the events always be equal to 1. Now we can explain with the help of an example. Find the probability distribution of number obtained on an ordinary dice. When we talk about dice, we have six numbers, number one to six. Let x denote number on an ordinary dice. So x can take values one, two, three, four, five, and six. And if we talk about the probability of all the events, probability of all the events is one by six. If we sum all, it will give you one. One more example. Find probability distribution of outcomes on a coin. When we toss an unbiased coin, we have two outcomes, either head or tail. So let x denote outcomes of a coin. So x can take values either head or tail. And the probability distribution of this is the probability of head is 1 by 2 and tail is 1 by 2. And sum of the probability of all the events always be equals to 1. Next example. A coin is tossed five times. Find probability distribution of number of heads. When we toss a coin five times, so head may be appear zero time, one time, two time, three time, four time, or five time. Let x denote number of heads. So x can take values zero to five. Here, probability of head is one by two, and the probability of tail is one by two. If we talk about probability of none head means all tail. Answer is 1 by 2 raised to the power 5. If we talk about 1 head, then we have 1 head and the 4 tails. And we have to arrange also this. So what's the probability is 1 by 2 raised to the power 5 into 5 vector upon 4 vector because we can arrange 1 head and 4 tails by 5 vectorial and 4 tails are this one divided by 4 vectorial. Similarly, the probability of 2 heads is 1 by 2 raised to the power 5 multiplied by 5 vectorial divided by 3 vector and 2 vector because head appear 2 times and tail appear 3 times. So we divide by 3 vector and 2 vectorial. Now probability of 3 head is 1 by 2 raised to the power 5 multiplied by 5 vectorial divided by again 3 vector and 2 vectorial because head appears 3 times and tail appears 2 times. And if we talk about probability of 4 heads, it is 1 by 2 raised to the power 5 multiplied by 5 vectorial divided by 4 vectorial. And similarly, the probability of 5 head is 1 by 2 raised to the power 5, which equals to 1 by 32. And we can write values of x and the corresponding probability in a table which give you the required probability distribution. Now here in this question we use simple probability of independent events like probability of head, head, tail, tail and so on and we also arrange all the events using formula of p plus q factorial divided by p factorial and q factorial where p items of one kind and q items of other kind. We can solve last question using binomial also. Because coin toss 5 times and occurrence of head considered to be success, here we assume let x denote number of heads. So x can take values 0 to 5. Because coin is tossed 5 times, so n equals to 5. And probability of head is 1 by 2, which is we can say it is p. And the probability of tail is 1 by 2, which we can say it is q. So the value of n is 5 p is 1 by 2 and the q is 1 by 2. Now we use the formula ncr q raised to power n minus r and p raised to power r. And using this formula we can calculate probability of 0, probability of 1, probability of 2, probability of 3, probability of 4 and probability of 5. For example, probability of 3 is 5c3 1 by 2 raised to power 5 minus 3 which is 2 and 1 by 2 raised to power 3 which equals to 10 by 32. Similarly, the probability of x equal to 4 is 5c4, 1 by 2 is to the power 1, 1 by 2 is to the power 4. And probability of 5 is 5c5, 1 by 2 is to the power 0 into 1 by 2 is to the power 5, which equals to 1 by 32. Now, we can rewrite all these values of x and their respective probability in a table and we'll get a probability distribution where x is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the respective probability is 1 by 32, 5 by 32, 10 by 32, 10 by 32, 5 by 32 and 1 by 32 and the sum of the probabilities is always be equals to 1. Next example, when some balls and cards are drawn without replacements, 
In this example, a bag contains three white and two red balls. Two balls are drawn. Find probability distribution of red balls. In this question, nothing is given about replacement. So we assume it's a question of without replacement. Let x denote number of red balls. So x can take values 0, 1 and 2 because two balls are drawn. Now we have to find the probability of 0 red. 0 red means none red. All white. This is 3c2 upon 5c2. Probability of 1 red means 1 red and 1 white. 3c1 into 2c1 upon 5c2. And the next is probability of 2 red. It is 2c2 upon 5c2. After calculation and putting the value of x and the respective values of px in the table, we'll get the probability distribution. x is 0, 1, 2 and the respective probabilities are 3 by 10, 6 by 10 and 1 by 10. In probability distribution, mean which is also known as expected value is equal to summation of x px. Variance which is noted as vx is equal to summation of x square px minus summation of x px whole square and standard deviation. We know that standard deviation is the root of variance. So it is in the root of summation of x square px minus summation of x px whole square. Now we will explain this with the help of an example. Find mean and variance of the following probability distribution where x 0 1 2 and the respective probabilities are 1 by 4, 2 by 4 and 1 by 4. First of all mean. Mean is equal to summation of x p x. So 0 multiplied by 1 by 4 plus 1 multiplied by 2 by 4 plus 2 multiplied by 1 by 4. It will give you answer of 1. Now the variance is summation of x square p x minus summation of x p x whole square or we can say it is minus mean whole square is equal to 0 square multiplied by 1 by 4 plus 1 square multiplied by 2 by 4 plus 2 square multiplied by 1 by 4 minus mean. Mean is 1, 1 square. So it's equals to 1 by 2. So mean is 1 and the variance is 1 by 2.